Most people in America consider themselves Christian. They attempt to align themselves with the church. Oftentimes, however, they're putting themselves investment in time and in beliefs in churches that are not appropriate for them at all in their souls. People are often lazy. They often get themselves relationally connected to people in churches or pastors who do things or people who are really not bastards of Satan but pretty close. And they'll stay there because of the laziness and the fear of going elsewhere to research something that might be more and even the most for their life. Every human being has the right to practice life balance and I'm a huge proponent of the eight infinite areas of life balance. I openly feel that the first foundation of any human being's life is their faith. It is their faith in something higher, their faith in a divine architect, their faith in the goodness in the world, or their faith in a philosophy that they can pick up as either a boy or a girl as a child that gives them the focus of their life, helps them to plan their life, and openly gives them moments what they can utilize to not have as much strife, not as much, have as much stress because we can use those terms that we often hear in the faith communities or spirituality communities or spiritualist communities that say have faith or simply give it up to God. When we give it up to God it means we let it go to the point that we don't have to know how God is going to work it out but God always works it out when God is not impeded by people. People impede God's work every single day. God could have you on the path to the greatest love affair of your life, but a person will interfere when they've got something to say. You'll share a little private thing with someone about that relationship, and that person will piss all over it because maybe they don't like how you look for them. Maybe they don't like how you feel for them. Maybe they don't like the language that that individual used for you, but you did until you shared it in this gossiping little girl fashion. And then you ruined it. You ruined the blessings. You ruined the love feeling. You ruined the beauty. You ruined the magic of everything God was doing through someone you didn't anticipate necessarily, someone you didn't expect at all, and someone who loves you more than God practically, most of all.